Let's roll. The naval service is quite monotonous and difficult. There are many men on the ship and lots of women on the shore. We wanted to tell you a story about it, an amusing story. And what could be funnier than the fantasies of a young sailor who spent too much time in the sun? Well, if all men suddenly disappeared from the ship and there were only girls everywhere, I wouldn't be very happy straight away. I'd feel tense and want to recheck everything at first. You just can't scare people all the time or make them go through strong emotions. Sometimes they just need to smile, relax and watch something funny. We thought about making a pin-up style video, some sort of music video. But then we went further and had an idea that it could be more than just a music video. It could be a dance performance. One, two, three, four. We see very few things in this style. Both here and across the ocean. Very few people dance or listen to swing nowadays. The pin-up style is well known. Moreover, this look has become quite popular in recent years. Initially, pin-up was an art style for posters. So it's a poster with pretty girls who are pleasant to look at, with beautiful shapes and so on. We have to use all kinds of tricks to make modern girls look like pin-up models, to get them closer to that iconic pin-up image. Pin-up was an integral part of American culture in the 1940s to 1950s. It was very popular among truckers, sailors and soldiers. We decided to make a video that would be instantly recognizable and reflect that time, that atmosphere and those people. Remember that pin-up is first of all about eyes, lips and this specific inner state. I can call myself a professional dancer, but acting is a big challenge for me. Seriously. I have to pay a lot of attention and stay very focused to play everything right from the actor's point of view. I find it very important to be immersed in the process, to be together with the team. I need to see and understand what the other girls are doing on camera, to get it all together and perform accordingly. Play with the camera, play with the main character and basically live. That's the main thing, to live on camera. Our choreography is actor-based. It's very important because it's almost impossible to amaze anyone with just dances nowadays. When you're on stage, it's also more than just dancing. You always convey an image. It makes dancing much more interesting. We required explosive emotions in our choreography. The music is very rousing. You want to dance, play, sing and have fun to it. It's not enough to dance well, you need to understand the process. In a music video, music dictates the rules and the duration of shots is very, very short. And each of them needs to hold an idea. What is its purpose? And why is it in the video at all? Apart from that, each movement, each glance needs to be precisely in time with the music. We've been preparing for this project for approximately two months. And today we're here, filming our big movie. Three, four. As you can see, the scale of our shoot is quite big. 
According to the script, the video takes place on an aircraft carrier, and a carrier is an enormous structure, the size of a multi-story building. That's why the choice of location was obvious, the Lenfilm Studios. They were shooting it all in a studio. Everything still needs to be very realistic and correspond to historical data. For example, in terms of technical specifications. Take the beds, for example. If we make a soft base for them, the actresses would sag them down and it wouldn't be good. That's why we cheated a little, added some stiffness. The most difficult thing for movies and videos of this kind is textures. It's the past, so it took a lot of time to build the set. Discussing and choosing the details and props wasn't an easy task either. The glitter and chic of all the surfaces, for example the varnish on the walls, it all reflects light and shines, thus contributing to this glamorous atmosphere. Of course, we combine it with some pyrotechnic tricks, steam, smoke, food cooking and so on, to make it look like it's really happening on a warship and not a film set. We purchased almost the entire stock of chroma key available in St. Petersburg to cover the entire set. We need to make a huge aircraft carrier. Let's hope that no one can tell that this carrier is computer generated. We're doing our best. I think that's the most precious thing on the set, or people. When a lot of professionals gather in one studio, working on one project, you can learn a great deal from each of them. It's a constant reciprocal creative process, and it's really fascinating. I just love it. I think it's interesting, it's unusual, and it's all made in a very fun way. I think the result is going to be great. Games are better than war. And all kinds of stories can happen in a game, even as funny and strange as the one we've told you. Wow! Where's this game? Well, well, let's play. 